Welcome to Assemble a Print Book Cover Part 4, The Spine. To start with, we might go down to the bottom of the toolbox, click on the bottom icon and select Normal again so we can see all the guide marks. I know they don't look pretty, but they'll help us place the items on the spine. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the picture box and this is for a logo right down at the bottom. I'll click and drag across the spine and you'll see the familiar X's come up. Then go to File and Place. Then click on the Overdog logo or whatever logo you're using. Click Open. And then to fit it, uh, I might go up to the Auto Fit uh, near the top and you'll see it's now in place. The reason I like to do the image first is so I can then click on the ruler to the left and drag across a guideline as you saw in the last video, place it on the central nodes of the logo and that's the center of the spine. Now to create the text, let's click on the type tool. I usually like to click and drag over the edge of the uh, image itself and onto the pasteboard. It just helps me get my bearings a bit and then I'm going to type in the title Bondi Lifeguards and highlight that make it um, 24 foot, maybe a little bit bigger. I'll bump it up to 26. And of course, I've got to change this from the current typeface, Minion Pro to Calibri to be consistent. I better go over to the character palette, click on the right, the top right arrowhead and select small caps to be consistent with the cover. Also click on yellow and you'll see now that Okay, we've got some text there, but it's not much use to us over there. Let's click on the black arrow and move it closer to where it's got to be, but still that's not going to help us. How are we going to rotate it? Well, to do that, the easiest way is to go up to this control here and select minus 90. Now, it's really important you select minus 90, not 90, because the convention is that the bottom of the lettering should face onto the back cover. So I'm going to click that. You'll see it's now gone to 90 degrees. We'll put it right in the middle there. Okay, that's not bad. I'm going to move it down a bit. And um, I think it's a little bit too high. Ooh, a little bit too far to the left. Just trying to get that just right. Now I'm going to use the arrows and the keyboard just so the center line is on the center of that B. Okay, that's fitting pretty well now. I can bring the bottom of that box in a bit there. Okay, no, that's not bad. So let's do the author's name. Click on the type tool again. Click and drag to make a text box. Let's put in the fictitious author's name. And highlight it. Turn it into Calibri. And what do we make this? Uh, 24 points. Make it paper so it's white. Then click on the black arrow so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, move it over around here. Now go up to the rotation tool again and again select minus 90. Then move it into place. What's that? How's that for a position? Actually, that's not bad first up. Uh, I might use the arrows and the keyboard just to bring it down a little bit to separate it from the title. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I think the title's a bit high now, so I'm going to click on that box and bring it down using the arrows and the keyboard. Yeah, that's a bit better now. And of course, go down to the bottom of the toolbox so you can look at it in a preview mode without the lines everywhere. Yeah, that's not bad. I think I'll just bring the you and Mitchell down slightly and make sure by looking at all the guides that it's not actually underneath. Good, that's right in the center of the spine there. Okay, at the end, remember to save. There we go. And we're ready for the final step, which is to turn this into a press quality PDF, which will be the file that we send to the printing company. Thank you for watching. And please remember to comment, like or subscribe if you'd like to view more videos about indie book publishing.